Blind Bay on the St. Lawrence River has new owners. The Thousand Islands Land Trust purchasing all undeveloped property in the bay, hoping to stop customs and border protection from building a massive border patrol facility. Our goal is to conserve it and uh, enhance it and, and keep it that way forever. So the bay is going to be the way it is today forever. Advocates considering this a major environmental win as Blind Bay is home to thriving wetland and aquatic species. It's one of those trans transition zones. Everything from what's in the water to what's on land and everything that travels in between those two places, those all thrive in a habitat like this. Um, so it's very important on the environmental and ecological side because it's a space where wild animals can thrive. Because of its environmental value, CPB's proposal ignited the community, a group even forming a coalition to save the bay. The coalition has been following the process and really waiting for tilt to close on the property, but I think it's important that everyone realize that Save the River and Tilt and frankly all these other organizations in the coalition support CBP's mission, but they need to be somewhere where they're not going to ruin an environmental treasure. Although there is a lingering fear of CBP initiating eminent domain, the land trust says this purchase changed the fight. You are the actual landowner and the purpose of your ownership of the land is public benefit, um, is to support um, ecological integrity of a very important area, uh, both recognized at the state and federal level. Um, that's a strong convincing argument if we end up in the court of law. I mean, this has truly galvanized the entire river community. We did reach out to CBP regarding the purchase of Blind Bay, but are still awaiting a response. Their next steps remain unknown. Reporting from the town of Orleans, I'm Isabella Colello. For more local news, go to informnny.com or download the ABC 50 mobile app.